Over the years, the use of plastic has greatly increased because it is easy to manufacture and it lasts a long time. Things that used to be made out of materials such as wood, stone, paper, and glass are now being made out of plastic because of its low cost. But plastics also have a downside. For example, plastic is extremely durable and can take over 50 years to decompose. This would be a good thing if everyone threw away or recycled their trash, but the truth is that not everyone does this. Every year, millions of pounds of plastic are dumped into the ocean by boats and other vessels. This poses a threat to the marine environment and all the animals living inside of it. Over time, this trash is circulated throughout the ocean and eventually accumulates into large trash gyres. At sea, thousands of miles from any land, the vastness of the ocean is giving way to what some say is the largest garbage dump in the world. Extending from just off the coast of California to the coast of China is a trash gyre that covers over 10 million square miles of the Pacific Ocean. This gyre, called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, is considered the largest trash gyre in the world, weighing in at over 3.5 million tons, 80% of which consisting of recyclable, non-biodegradable plastics. Charles Moore made the shocking discovery in 1997 by accident while sailing the Pacific. He's been collecting samples of the growing garbage patch ever since. Some samples contain six times more plastic than plankton. The California Current pushes the trash towards Asia, where it is intersected by the North Equatorial Current, pushing it towards Russia. There, the trash is swept away by the North Pacific Current, taking it back to the California Current yet again. This circular movement keeps the trash in the North Pacific, making the gyre grow denser and denser with garbage. Sailors and fishermen rarely travel these waters, and marine life is nearly impossible to find in certain areas. <laughs> One important thing to do to keep our beaches and our cities clean is to recycle. This idea of reduce, reuse, recycle is important because if we do not do so, then our beaches will end up looking like this. Another way that you can make a change is to go out to your own beach and just pick up trash. You can also join a cleanup day and go to the events such as Coastal Cleanup or Save Our Shores. These ideas and many more, of which I am sure you can come up on your own, will renew our Earth in the way it looks.